All right, tonight we've hit a new low in terms of privacy as we know it here in our country, and it should deeply concern all of you, the American people. Now, just a short time ago, one of the Trump hating hosts over at NBC News, who is really one of the leaders of the alt left propaganda, destroy Trump at all cost media, well, she got her hands on President Trump's two pages of his 2005 tax return. Now, in many ways, this should be troublesome to everybody, but also there are many, many legal questions that we'll get into tonight. For example, according to 26 U.S. Code 7213, quote, it shall be unlawful for any officer or employee of the United States or any person described in Section 6103 and or any officer or employee of any such person or any former officer or employee willfully to disclose to any person except as authorized in this title any return or return information. By the way, that's a felony. They say they found it in a mailbox, and it could be related to the Russians. Now, that could result in a $5,000 fine, five years in prison. Now, tonight, of the, ahead of this criminal release, well, the White House revealed, well, in 2005, Donald Trump, Trump paid $38 million in taxes on $150 million in income, which, by the way, legal deductions, I'm sure. That's not a scandal. But here, here is what the scandal is tonight. We have been reporting on these deep state actors in great detail for weeks. They have been working tirelessly, nonstop, since November the 8th, behind the scenes. Why? They want to create a false narrative that President Trump colluded with the Russians. Now, of course, reports have now been debunked. That is a fake news story. We've also told you about how just weeks before he left office, President Obama altered Executive Order 12333, which allowed widespread sharing of raw data collected by American intelligence agencies, and that added 16 additional government agencies, 16 additional, and their employees now gained access to top secret intelligence they never had access to before. He did this two weeks before he left office. But what we're seeing now is becoming far worse. Now it's a clear and present danger that has emerged, and it's threatening our democracy and the will of the people, because we have people in our government today who are committing felonies now on a weekly basis. These saboteurs, they're trying to prevent the president from doing the job that you, the American people, elected him to do. Now, aside from the president's taxes, take a look at this. Look at all the other leaks that have gone on since Donald Trump won the election. Take a look at all that. Now, this didn't happen when President Obama was in office, but we now have deep state actors, some who broke the law by releasing the president's taxes, all in an effort to destroy his presidency. Now, it wasn't bad enough that Obama used the IRS, remember, as a weapon against conservatives and conservative or organizations. They took the criminalization of political differences to a level we've never seen before. Last week, I said that President Trump, he needs to purge this deep state and all these Obama holdovers, all these bureaucrats, all of those sabotaging the president need to be exposed, some arrested and tried, and some fired. Now, tonight's example is exactly what I'm talking about. Now, the other issue we've got to address tonight is the corporate jihad being waged by NBC News against President Trump. Now, as I said earlier, they're the leaders of this alt-left propaganda, destroy Trump at all costs media, and now releasing his 2005 tax return it proves that they will do anything, spin any conspiracy to destroy the commander-in-chief, including working with people clearly that have broken the law. Just take a look at some of these examples. I do want to move quickly to some breaking news about Donald Trump. A decade-old audio tape surfacing late today in which Trump is heard making crude and vulgar comments about women, including how he gropes them. We want to warn you, some of the language you're about to hear may be offensive. When he said today, America first, it was not just the racial, I mean, the, I should say racial, the Hitlerian uh, background to it. Here you have a deranged president or a pathologically lying president lying about the operations of the American government and lying about the previous president of the United States. That's enough to invoke the 25th Amendment, but Mike Pence and the cabinet are not there yet. That tweet is also enough to impeach the president of the United States. I urge people to read and really make decisions about exactly what they're seeing. I understand why so many people voted for him. I understand where you were coming from. I understand why you liked him. I, but th this man is lying to you. All the conspiracies, it's a concerted effort by a so-called news organization. Why? Perhaps to take down the president? 
Steve Bannon, I argue, is right. The alt-left propaganda media is the opposition party in America today. They're not news anymore. And by the way, did NBC News care when the IRS targeted conservatives specifically to intimidate them? Did they care about President Obama's unconstitutional executive orders he himself admitted he didn't have the power to do? They have this morning show on MSNBC. They attack the president's mental health almost now on a daily basis. And what Rachel Maddow did tonight, if you could stomach, I actually laughed. It actually made me laugh, frankly, harder than I have in 10 years, was a flat-out pathetic conspiratorial attempt to smear the president. Now, I really couldn't watch it with a straight face. It was sort of like an SNL skit, but actually better. And with her trying to piece all these conspiracy pieces together, claiming in 2005 a Russian oligarch knew that Trump was going to be the president in, and elected in 2016, so he bought a property from him in Florida, and Trump made a big profit. And, you know, did th they want to ask the guy who runs NBC, maybe Andy Lack? I wonder if Andy Lack, he's a pretty wealthy guy. Did he sell any property? Did he ever make a profit back in 2005 or any other year? Did they, know, did they want to... You know, do they, do they want to question if the moon actually, the well, moon landing actually occurred? This is the twilight zone. Let me get this straight. Russia knew in 2005 that Trump would be president in 2016, but if you watch the tape on election night, even up to the last minute, NBC News didn't think it was possible that Donald Trump would become president. This is the twilight zone. So tonight, let's set the record straight. NBC is not news. It is deep state Obama propaganda television.